Yo, what is everybody? We're here for the season one finale, y'all. Over there. Um, last episode <laughs> was upsetting. It was annoying. Marcus and his fucking donuts is annoying. Speaking of which, oh, wow. I had no, I, I had no Marcus. idea that he's Lionel from Odd Future. That is so. We didn't realize. I that. didn't know that until I was on Twitter yesterday, and I was like, "Wait, That's what?" That's so fucking random. So random. Um, <laughs> but last episode was crazy. Uh, Sydney ended up quitting. quitting. Um, who, who else quit? Richie was Fucking the only one that kept the school. Seemed like Carmi walked was out. Marcus walked Carmi, out. Marcus and Sid quit. The, all the OGs held under the pressure. Yeah. Damn. Well, Marcus is an OG. Sydney's the only new one. So. No, I know. I'm saying all the ones that stayed were OGs. Yeah. All right, Anyways. let's see what we got. We're going to jump in episode eight. What is it? Bro Brociole? Bro 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 Broccoli? Broccoli. Yeah, broccoli. 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 What the fuck is this? A mental breakdown. Brejal. Now this is a very special dish in my dysfunctional nightmare of a household. My brother Mike made this for us every single Sunday. My brother, who is addicted to painkillers, blew his head off on the State Street Bridge. No letter. No goodbye. Oh, the letter. The letter. See, I told you he never read it. Our family's restaurant. He never found it. A nice curve. We knew he didn't find it. Never let me work there. It's still there though. It's still there. Anyway. Bro, this nigga's jacked. Strong as fuck. Yep, I was thinking the same thing, nigga. The fuck? Been living in pots and pans all Strong day. Strong as <laughs> It was, it was on the table just now. Yeah. It's a nightmare, bro. I know, but I'm you just saying, like this is fucked fine. up, bro. Oh, nigga, oh, no, what? He cooking in the ah! again? Why would you touch that? Is he cooking cardboard again? <laughs> the bear on the bridge. The bridge. They never explained what oh, the fuck okay. that was. Uh, <laughs> Mm. Right here. That's horrible. You hear me? Hmm. Oh, yesterday. It's crazy because some people were criticizing the way he was talking to his staff, which is true, but then some people that have actually worked in the kitchen oh, said, no, like, not you this. have to be able to handle that in those high it's, pressure moments. Let's this place on fucking fire. Let it rip. That's rough. That sucks. Damn, bro. This the man hair. is disheveled. Yeah, the hair. My um, stress. My brother's an addict. My, my brother was an addict. We wanted to open a restaurant together. Um, we had a name. We had a vibe. All of it. My brother can make you feel confident in yourself. You know, like when I was a kid, if I was nervous, I was scared, I wouldn't want to do something. He'd always tell me to just face it. You know, get it over with. He would always say. Um, Stupid. He would always say, um, let it rip. I always thought my brother was my best friend. Like, like we just knew everything about <sighs> each other. Except everybody thought he was their best friend. You know, he was that, he was that magnetic. As we got older, I, I realized I didn't know anything about him. He just cut me off cold. And I think that just, that flipped this switch in me where I was like, okay, fuck you. Watch this. And that's why he went to the cooking mm -hmm. school. And, and because we had this connection through food and he had made me feel so rejected and lame and shitty and uncool, I, I made this plan where I was going to go work in all the best restaurants in the world. And a couple of years later, this funny thing happened, which is like, for the first time in my life, I, I started to find this, uh, this station for myself. I felt okay, you know? And that's probably you also left him the restaurant because they like talked about opening a restaurant together. Mm -hmm. I knew which vegetables went together, proteins, temperature, sauces, all that shit. And when somebody new came into the restaurant to stage, I'd look at them like they were a competition, like I'm gonna smoke this motherfucker. And the more he wouldn't respond, and the more our relationship kind of strained, the deeper into this I went and the better I got. And the more people I cut out, the quieter my life got. And the routine of the kitchen was so consistent and exacting and busy and hard and alive and I lost track of time and he died. Fuck, bro. And he left me his restaurant. And over the last couple of months, uh, I've been trying to fix it. 
that restaurant, it has, and it, it does mean a lot to people. It means a lot to me. I just don't know if it ever meant anything to him. Wow. Damn. That was a that really was a fucking good scene. monologue, that was bro. It was, it was an amazing monologue. Okay, I see. See me? Dang. I'm buying an ingredient. The We Quit Club. Yeah. <laughs> Man, fuck that. <laughs> fuck that job. I am. Um, bro, what is that? I don't know. I'm trying not to make a face, like though. <laughs> Because people think I don't eat so much. Okay, it's tomatoes. Okay, it's like. Tomato coffee. It's like a vinaigrette type. Yeah. The Culinary Institute of America, not the, you know, CIA. Yeah, thanks for clearing that up. Yeah, I thought you were a spy. I'd game change if I really felt like the biggest idiot on the planet because I didn't know. Half of the people that anyone that actually looks about. delicious. Yeah, she's killing that. It's it pretty. Also it's a nice presentation. So, That's so tight. So, what was the best one? The beef. Wait one second. But then she said she was in New York. Oh. They're in Chicago, so it wouldn't have been that. I had a chef who would only let me zest. That was it. Yeah. The place for like mm -hmm. just zest. That's crazy. Zest. Tastes like shit, chef. It's not ready for the line, chef. Nope. <laughs> you good? Aww. Crazy yeah. how they made her one of the most likable people. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Nigga, that is tired. I think crazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not <laughs> my last reaction, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> the roof just comes off. <laughs> the fuck is going on? I like it too. Mm. What's it for? I don't know. That's a lot of fucking money. He probably got so stressed out about whatever this situation was, which is why he probably ended up doing what he did. That's kind of shitty. A month with no napkins? Pay these motherfuckers. We need napkins. He was like, what's the point? What? You're not going to be able to pay him next month anyway. Sounds like that was his attitude, huh? No, no. I remember because it wasn't his attitude. Mm. So it was like out of nowhere she noticed yeah. the shift. Gotcha. He gotta find this letter this episode. Yeah. Cause that shit dropped in like the ep the first, first episode. First damn near first second episode. You know how much I loved him, right? Mm. How much? A lot. I'm gonna go back and we'll hash it out. I, I respect guess. it though. Mm. He's like, we just need our, I just need my space, you know. I'm gonna go back. Have another. You gonna go back to UPS? UPS is the crazy shit that made me want to do this crazy shit, so probably not. You know what I do appreciate, you though? Really I appreciate that these two are going to be essentially so like the creative backbone of the restaurant because these so two are trying to bring mm, new things to the it. menu. Mm. Yeah. You want to Michael Jordan Steakhouse? Okay, and? You mean, and it's the best restaurant on earth. You mean, you come Thanks. dunk a steak yes, on your yes, forehead? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> best he got inspired because Wait, of them. So what was the best one? Best what? Best meal you ever had. Oh yeah, she didn't answer. Yeah, it was it was carnies. I knew it. I knew it. Mm, yeah. He is really, really, really good. This so it was like from whatever yeah. restaurant he was working at at the time. Just a little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the cocaine. This is not party. the fucking. Oh, that's the bachelor. That's all half the bachelor party. Oh, nigga, I thought that was the club, bro. That's what? crazy. Why Me they too. Show a scene at the red that's what club? I was trying to figure out. You, your fucking brother. <laughs> this is a fucking disgrace right here. <laughs> hey, they gotta make money better than selling drugs in the in the side alley of the restaurant. <laughs> you know he was using. How could you not? Oh. Well, he got, he got he he cut him off. Yeah. I never fucking saw him. I never fucking talked to him. Yeah. But it's just call. how that probably hurt him yeah. to hear that when he's like, she how could you not? What could you do? I don't fucking know. You know, he's so loud and strong, obnoxious and fucking hilarious. I mean, he's Mikey Bear. I thought Damn. he would pull out of it. Here we go. Bro, get out of my restaurant, dog. <laughs> Yeah, you gonna tear up In the, the restaurant? Oh. 
Oh my god, that dude is dead. You fucking lying. Richie. Richie mopped that nigga, bro. Is he dead? He gotta be dead. I hope he's just knocked out. You see how his head pinged off the fucking bar? Yeah, that's why I just pray he's just knocked out. What cell doors? That sounds like jail. Nigga. That sounds like jail. <laughs> it, it is, is jail. jail. You'll be looking at manslaughter. Damn. That sucks. <sighs> he gonna wake up. This is so annoying. I'm just getting off work. It's been a crazy day. Yeah, bad news. Um, oh, he went and talked to his daughter. You know, I was just... Yeah. I was just thinking about all that shit that went down with your dad. You know, how I called him when I called him. And uh, you were right, you know. It was not okay. Mm. And uh, I'm sorry. Uh, <clears throat> That's crazy. He calls from jail, but instead of giving her the bad news, just apologizes for something he did in the past. He's reflecting. Yeah, because this could be it for him for a few years. Somebody bailed him out. You, you got lucky. You get charged with aggravated assault. <sighs> Oh God! Thank you, God. You're welcome, dickhead. Yeah, you're yeah, God. Yeah, you're right God. Now. He, he waited out there the for him all night. Yeah. yeah, he waited for him the whole time. <laughs> no more bachelor parties, huh? Yep, that's done. Nope. And he probably felt responsible. I mean, they're both. The, he let them have the bachelor the party right. there. Yeah. It's it's an unfortunate situation. Oh no. Uh, it's all hitting him now. Yeah. You okay? Mm. Yeah. Uh, time to wipe up the coke. There's literal coke on the floor. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> just coke everywhere. Just get a wow. mop. Oh, he showed up. Yeah, he said he was gonna talk yeah. to him. I'm so sorry, Chef. Damn. He's like, I'm gonna give it to you vocally. Be back. Chef. Like, bro, you don't have to say Nigga, it. you're not gonna apologize for the fucking donuts? Yeah, what the fuck is this? What the fuck is that? This is my station. This is not respect. No, chef, that is not respect. Yeah. Hey. Ew. Yeah, sir. nigga. Let me tell you who again. A souvenir for your troubles. Ew. <laughs> what? Ew. Do y'all get that out? The workspace man. area? I keep it all inside. Polish sauce. Yeah, me beat the shit out of people. Extra long. What the? I you it. good, nigga? The time is still coming. What the fuck was that? He must be tripping. Yeah. Oh, that's uh, what's her face's notes. Sid. What are you gonna do? Try it out? You know what? Risotto, yep. the beef rib short thing. Oh no no, this is uh, that's pork. I don't need pork. I'm just the delivery guy. Take it up a loop. Yeah. Freaking Uber Eats. <laughs> Nigga, the restaurant it says the original beef, not the original pork. pork. Is he gonna make this risotto? <laughs> Yeah, that I'm like dead a, sure. Like I, I hear him that's... scream in the freezer. <laughs> Lunch rush. Ew. What, what, why? Why did B roll to that? That's crazy. Cause it's all, <laughs> it's all piling up on him now. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? That's not is happening. He, he He's tripping. Oh no, is it actually a fire and he's talking about how you wait for a second and let the whole restaurant burn down and then you, you put it out? No, this is actually happening. Yeah, it was literally that conversation him and Mark, Mark has had about just letting it burn and then you just think Yo, about the whole hey. restaurant just burning down Yo. and then you snap out Yo. of it. Fuck. Sorry. Yo, you almost got your face burned off. Nigga, he literally just stood there. They <laughs> looking at him like, nigga, go home. Oh lord, here we go. Jesus yep, Christ, he finally just said, you know what, fuck it. That was probably weighing on him too, that he knew <laughs> knew about it. I didn't really want to give it to you because he meant that he was gone. Mm -hmm. He hid it. Because he didn't want he to think about it. He didn't want him it. to find it. Because it, it was, was on the top of the But thing. it was also he like, just put it like back there. personally how it was fucking with him. Because he was like, I didn't want you to see that type shit. Yeah. And I didn't want to accept the fact that he was gone. <sighs> and he even was talking about it in group, like, no, 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 nothing. Yep. Fuck me, dude. Mm. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
stupid. He has to read it though for closure. There's no way. Is he calling his sister? Sister, I think so. Or sister. Oh, oh what? Oh wow. Wasn't expecting that. Oh, her recipe. So yeah. shove it up your ass. <laughs> oh, he's just making amends with everybody. Yes, and I respect the fact that he's making amends with everybody because he wasn't being a good leader, but everybody he also needs to had take accountability. accountability in the situation. Oh, he said your last check is when you ready whenever you want to come pick it up. This is stressing me out. I love you, dude. Let it rip. Aww. Damn. And then we got the context behind that. Yeah, the let it rip. Fuck you. Jesus. He left the fucking. Did he never know? Did he, he never? He never knew how to do it. He probably never told him how to make a certain thing. That's crazy. I think it was the spaghetti we saw in that one uh, flashback. I think he was mm -hmm. making like the sauce and everything. Uh, what? <laughs> Somalia, I am grill master. Oh, shut up, you old bitch. That's sexist. What? Oh, family. And oh he's they doing talking the onions, about how the yeah. spaghetti sucks and the sauce sucks and this. I'll spread it all over. Make sure you... Make it look nice and even. Man, the fuck them, bro. I can't watch this show hungry ever again. Cake. It's doing their thing. Yeah. In the streams, they won't join. So I got stabbed back there. Yeah, I did. It's pretty dope. What? That's cool. Sure he gas him up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll fix this. Oh, he's gassing him up. You think he's going to add something to it? We'll see. Housekeeping, chef. Yes, yes chef. chef. Thank you. He left something in there? Money? Wow. Nigga. Money. That's why he said the small cans. It was all the money. I think that's all the, is that all the oh money? Oh my God, he was hiding money in the tomato? Is that all the 300K? Did I, he like save it so in all the tomato what? sauce? But why'd he kill him? Cousin! I don't think no. it was over money. Sh oh God. Help! Yeah, he left it in all of the cans. He had all the money. So that's why he left him the restaurant. Wow. He left him all the money. So I think I think he left him the money because he knew that he would make the restaurant what he knew what do you, that what do you the envision? potential. Oh, oh, it's up season two, bro. You know, Richie, you'll probably get a new city for your car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, your last check is back here. All yeah. right. <laughs> oh, you missed the tomato money finding party where everybody who still works here gets one lump. <laughs> all right. Go get your check and get the fuck out! <laughs> What's uh, uh... I'm not gonna lie. Quit fucking around. Grab a can opener. Yeah, he Aww. just hired her back. I'm not gonna lie. I wouldn't have told nobody that works for me about that, and I would have did it at night. Two tops, boots. He trusts his crew. They've been yeah, there forever. Yeah, I get I, that. I don't got that much trust. Casey, man, you at the bar? window on the side oh he's like the modifications yeah. now that they have the they're gonna do it, it yeah yeah fuck wow. are, you gonna, are you gonna buy the spot on the corner that's for sale probably the one that was for rent what do you call it the bear that was the name of the restaurant that they had mm. the idea the bear jesus christ oh they're gonna show i'm us literally them. my chest hurts <laughs> wow all of the tomato mm -hmm. All of it. And remember how they were making such a oh, wait. spaghetti. KBL. KBL. Oh, that's what the KBL was. Yeah. The 300. The beef is closed. Wow. That's wow. dope. Damn. This, this is, is like this fucking is, with me. This is the prologue. <laughs> this is crazy. Aww. This is so worrisome. This is like a great, like, um, yeah moment after what happened like last episode oh Fuck. damn i was trying to keep it together dude why they do that <laughs> oh man that was awesome wow what a great first season. Yo, why I'm, did they do that last I'm time? I was fine. I am messed <laughs> up for season two now. We got all Fuck. this money hidden in the tomato cans and shit. Uh.
But he's still got to pay his uncle back. Well, he's going to be able to. The fucking yeah, the spot is going to freaking, what you call it? I, I still need answers, so though, as to, like, why. So that is why he really a... left him the restaurant. He left him the restaurant because he left him the money. Because he left him the money. But it's still, like, why all the secrecy and, exactly, and all like, this? It's still, like, a lot of questions for me, at least. Like, yeah. Like, why did you do this? That was you know? Me. That was really well done, especially that monologue in the beginning. Holy crap, that was that was intense. <sighs> yeah, it was. Yeah, Damn, it was. so if Richie would have gave him the letter forever ago... Like yeah, two months we ago, been, we would have been fine. <laughs> yeah, but again, like that was it's where they were mentally. Yeah. Like, yeah, it was where he was mentally. He wasn't even trying to fucking hear that shit. And I said, my only, I love mm. everything about this episode. My only complaint was that Marcus and Sid did not apologize. They didn't, they didn't apologize. They didn't take any accountability for their roles in the because massacre. Because some people that had a, a very good point like in the comments that I didn't even think about because um, they were saying that like it was kind of like a snowball effect with Sid. Like Even though she did give the plate to the critic on accident, the article is why so many pre-orders came in and he said to hold off on the risotto, not because he didn't believe in her abilities as a chef, but because they weren't prepared to take on that much business. Because and then they look knew what happened in good. the kitchen yeah. when mm. that much business Because the article came in. rated them five stars, so everybody's like, oh shit, I wanna eat this five stars. No, not even that, and just I wanna try just, this restaurant try because it, yeah. it got raving reviews mm. and they weren't ready to handle like that that, that amount of volume. Of customers. Yeah. Yes. So like they were saying like with Sid like you have to understand like she's a great chef but like she gets ahead of herself and that's why her catering business didn't work out because mm -hmm. she's very ambitious which is a good thing but like she does sometimes she does too burn. much too fast yep. and then it, it'll crash whereas Carmi has more business experience yep. my thing is they just need, they just needed to apologize in general nigga you was fucking around with donuts when we had a fucking insane lunch rush and what do you do yeah. he got caught up in the creation which somebody commented that too that they were the same way yeah that they would create like stuff and but then get caught up. Get I think it's I think it's cool that they're create that they're created the the creative but backbone. A time and a place for everything. But again, Marcus should have been the like room. Marcus should, the kitchen. When when Carmi was like, I'm sorry, Chef, and he'd be like, and I'm sorry too. I got caught up. That would have been yes. nice. That would have been fine. But he literally was like, You fucking right, you sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah, heard that. Yeah, heard that. All right, nigga, that's the last apology you ever get from me. Just in like her too, when he was like, oh, you know, my behavior was not okay. She could have been like, I'm Correct. sorry that I didn't listen to you about, you know, the dish and, and yeah. that it caused. So, you know, it is what it is at the end of the day, but I'm just glad that they all like. And I'm glad you know, Richie out. was able to reflect too when he was locked up and he yeah. was like, damn, let me. Instead of just calling with bad news, let me just apologize. He needs to get it together. Yeah. He's trying to, he, I think he's learning. He needs to get it yeah. together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's good, he, though. He might end up like Mike because he doesn't understand why Mike ended up the way that he ended up. And that's way. probably another, yeah, that's actually a good call out. That's probably exactly why he was acting the way he was, which makes sense. Yo, season two about to go insane. I'm ready for it. All right. Mm -hmm. That is it for season one of The Bear. And on to the next. As always, like, subscribe, follow on all socials. Hey, bro, she Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, subscribe, share, loops on. What's going on? The subscribe. Anyway, check out the merch on the internet is down below. But that's all we got for you guys today. Hope you have a great day. We'll catch you guys next time. Peace. Peace.